Hey folks, PK here. Welcome back to another episode of Surf Fishing on the Oregon Coast. And today we're going to use these uh, bait by Berkeley. They're called uh, Gulp Sandworms. Um, of course, they're very popular. They work really well and they do a great job at catching surf perch. And the one tip I can recommend um, for this gulp sandworm is to dry them out. And the reason why you want to dry them out is to make them more rubbery and the, that means they're going to be a little bit tougher and when the fish bite and try to pull them off the hook they won't come off very easily okay so that's a really big advantage because you it's going to last a lot longer it's going to save you money and it's going to save you uh some downtime as well so i got some paper towels here and make sure you got something to hold down the paper towel so the wind doesn't blow it away and to dry these out it's really simple guys all you got to do is just remove it from the packet and just kind of lay them out on the paper towels and the paper towel is going to soak up some of that gulp juice and don't worry about that um, the smell is still going to be there it's it's not going anywhere the smell is actually embedded inside the plastic and even when you dry them out it's still super super smelly and you just kind of lay them out just like that and there it is I got the entire package emptied on here and you, what you want to do is you have to make sure um, you don't over dry it if you over dry it then they um, they still work but it's just really tough to get them onto the hook and if it's super windy you have to uh, be careful because the wind will dry them out much quicker too it's about uh, 98 right now and the wind's blowing about you know 8 to 10 miles per hour so I'm not too concerned about it what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave them out for about two and a half hours and I'm gonna check it every 30 minutes to make sure um, you know they don't over dry okay so that's what I would do with these gulp sandworm um, when you get them and after you dry them out don't re soak them in the gulp juice of course and what I do is I just put it inside a small jar and keep them in there. So this is a really good trick to make these bait more effective and it'll save you money in the long run. Hey, so before we begin guys, um, I put up the tide chart here and I told many people before that the best time to try to catch these surf perch is during a high tide and that's because uh, the high tide tends to push them closer to shore. The best time usually begins about two hours before high tide to about two hours after high tide. On this day, I knew high tide was at 6 a.m. So that's about the time that we arrived. And it was pretty early morning and the bite was really good. And we noticed like once the tide started to go down, um, the bite got less. So that's kind of the magic hour right there, guys. It's just two hours before high tide and two hours after high tide. Oh yeah. Oh, I had it, dang. Do I got it? Do I, oh, I got it. Oh, here we go, guys. Oh, yeah. Heck yeah. First fish. Oh, he's a good one. He's a good one. Look at that. Good one. Gulp sandworm, guys. Well, I thought he was a good one. Pretty good size. There we go. Look at that. First fish of the morning. Bright and early, 6 a.m., guys. All right, buddy. Take it easy, you're going back. There we go. First fish of the day. Probably about two, three minutes in. Okay, there you go, buddy. Oh, there's one. There's another one, guys. There's another one. Back to back. Here we go. Back to back. Heck yeah. We are uh, fishing early morning today. The tide is coming in. The waves are pretty 
kind of rough. They're about three to five feet. Oh, did I get it? Oh, I got a double, guys. I got a double. There we go. Double of the morning. Look at that. Look at that. Nice. Okay, buddy. All right, I'll let you go. I'm trying to let you go. Okay, there's there's one. Okay, there's number two. There we go. That was a double. All right, there we go. So right out here, guys, there was a seal. There's a seal right out here. And people will say, well, if there's a seal, you should move. No, actually, you want to stay still. You don't want to move because the seals go where the red tails are at because that's their food. So if you see a seal, that means a red tail is around here somewhere. They're not far. So seals are a good sign. Oh, there's one. Oh, I had one. I had one. I had one. Wait, do I got one? Oh, I got one. I got one, guys. Another back-to-back. -back. Wow. Oh, no, I lost it. Dang it. I lost it. Oh, no, I got it. Oh, my goodness. A little dude. Oh, man, I'm sorry, buddy. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, there you go. There you go. So, so far, uh, four fish in about five minutes. There's a seal right over there. Oh, another one, guys. Another, oh, back to, oh, man. Back to back. Heck yeah. Great morning so far. Holy cow. Did I get a double? Oh, another double, guys. Double off again. Double up. There we go, one silver and one red tail. There's one. There we go. So that's like a, my, my, that's like my second double in about two, three minutes. Ooh. Oh, oh, that one? Oh, I got one, guys, another one. Oh, yeah, woo, back to back. Oh, man, fun times. Surf fishing the Oregon coast, gotta love it. Is this another double? Is this another, oh, no. He's a decent size. There we go. There we go. That's a male. So that's a male. I'm going to keep him, actually. Actually, no, he's kind of small. We'll let him go. He's kind of small. Your hook's so deep. Come on, buddy. We got two fish to release, guys. Two fish, one big female. Oh, my God. Look at that. Look at that. Almost on my elbow. Jeez. <laughs> Got the birds too. Yeah, that's a big one. Holy wow. smoke. I better not show. Okay, she's gonna make it. Yeah, she made it. She made it. All right, good job, dude. That's a big female. Oh, that was a, oh, 
Oh, there we go. There we go, guys. There we go. Wow. It doesn't take long for them to hit it. It doesn't take long. When, when I cast it out there, um, probably about, you know, 20 seconds in, they take it right away. Oh, it's a little guy. Okay, buddy. What is this, like my sixth or seventh fish in about 30 minutes? Okay, there you go, buddy. Okay, there we go. So there's the cast. We are definitely in the early morning bite. Oh, there's one. Oh, yeah. I'm telling you guys, this is awesome action, man. Woo. I cannot get enough of this. He feels like a really good one. Oh, look at that. Look at that rod shake. Come on, buddy. Great action right here. Okay. Oh, a double. Wow, a double, guys. Another. This is like my third double of the day. So this guy, there we go. Third double of the day. Come on. Okay, there's one. And there's two. Nice one right there, guys. There we go. Catch and release. Oh, fish on. Fish on again, guys. Yep. Oh. Wow. I thought I thought a second one got on. Sometime if you wait, you can get like a double because their buddies come to check them out and they usually take the other sandworm, but no dice. Oh, it came off. Dang it. All right, my sandworm. My sandworm came off. Okay, guys, so got to rebait the shrimp I'm using the size 4 hook and now I'm going to try on this night crawler here this is imitation night crawler it's called a uh, gulp pinch night crawler and I used it before, it works pretty good. So there we go, I have sandworm, uh, gulf shrimp, and um, the night crawler. So, yeah, let's give it a shot, let's go. So far, doing great. I think I caught about eight fish so far. Less than one hour fishing. It's foggy. It's still a little dark, sun is not up yet. Well, the sun could be up, it might be behind a cloud, but I don't see it. <clears throat> Let's go. Come on, fishy. Oh, there's a hit, there's a hit, there's a fish. There's a fish, guys. I think, little guy, little one, not a very big one. Yeah, he's a little silver. It looks like a silver. Woo, you're a tiny little bugger. Okay. You like the sandworm, huh? All right, there you go. Looking for the bigger one. Like I said, we are fishing in incoming tide. And usually that's how I like to fish. Oh, I just had a hit. Just had a hit. Just had a hit. Oh, there's a big hit right there. Oh, oh, I had it, dang. Oh, there's one right there. There's one right there. There we go, big one. There we go, guys. 
I keep on saying they're big, but when I bring them up, they're actually pretty small. Could be another double. There's a seal again, right at the tip of my rod, right over there. Okay. Boy. This one took the night crawler. Hey, give it back my worm. Okay, there you go. The worm came off, it was in his mouth. Okay, there we go. Pretty much, I'm getting them on every cast. <clears throat> just, uh, I cast it out and I reel it in and then they take it. It's just phenomenal right now. Oh, there's, there's a hit, there's a hit. I'm telling you, back to back and everything. There's one. That one? Yep. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. There's another one. Oh no, did it came off? Oh, it came off. Dang it. That's a good one too. Oh, there's a hit. Oh, there's one. Oh, I had it. Dang. Oh, there's one. There's one right there. There's one. Got to keep that line tight, guys. Keep the line tight. Oh yeah. Let's go, buddy. Oh. Feels, oh, that's a good one right there, guys. Ooh, big old female. That's a nice size right there. Okay, there we go. Easy release. All right, girl. There comes a wave for you. There you go. Back in the water hit my foot well guys uh, doing good so far I'm catching a lot of these surf perch with a gulp sandworm and also the uh, gulp shrimp along with the uh, gulp uh, pinch nightcrawler it doesn't matter what you use they seem to be taking it and these guys are ravenous man they just tear my sandworm off you know, even after I dry it, it's pretty rubbery. They're still able to rip it off the hook. So, I'm baiting it just like that. There we go. And my shrimp is all cut up. Look at that. They took a piece out of that shrimp. They're just ravenous out there. The tide is coming in. It's actually high tide right now, it's about 7 a.m. So there it is right there, three, three different baits. It doesn't matter, they're gonna, they just take everything I give them. Okay, there's a cat, guys. Let's see how fast they take it. I'm not kidding. They take it really fast. Watch. Just gonna reel and then pause. Let the wave do all the work. Reel in again. There's a hit, there's a hit. Felt the hit. Oh, oh, that's, oh man. That was, a, oh. Wow. There we go, there we go. Oh yeah, just like that. Woo! Heck yeah. That's what I'm talking about right there. Good size, guys. Really good size. Let's see which one he took. Which bait did he take? Took the gulp sandworm. Gulp sandworm. Awesome hook set right there. Okay, buddy. There you go, other way, other way. There you go, you got it. I got two bait on. I'm too lazy to walk back up to my backpack. I got two bait, that's fine. Oh man, that was a hit. Oh, there's one right there. Oh yeah! Right there, guys. Felt big. That bite felt really massive. 
Hopefully the fish is big too, huh? Maybe. Oh, oh yeah. Oh my goodness. Let's see, what are you? What are you? You a double? Wow, another nice one, guys. Another nice one. Woo, that's a big, big male. Come here, buddy. Oh, that's a big male. Wow. Oh, wow. That is huge. Oh, sorry, that's a female. Wow, that's a big female. Okay, guys, big female right here. Got her on a gulp sandworm. Okay, she's gonna drop some babies, so we better put it back in the water. Very big one. Good size right here. Okay, there's a wave coming. There she goes, she got it. Yeah, that was cool. That was a nice female. Fish? Nope. Oh, there's one, there's another one. There's another one, oh yeah. There we go. Oh, ho oh, ho. Oh. You guys seen that rod shake? Oh, it came off, dang. It came off, shoot. Dang it. That was a hit. Holy moly. Holy cow. This is fun as heck. Feels like a good, maybe a double. Could be a double. There's a weight to this guy. Let's see what you are, buddy. Come on in. What are you, man? Are you a crab? Oh, double. It's a double, guys. Oh, I foul hooked one of it. I foul hooked one of it, dang it. No. One of my, uh... wow. Okay, there's one of it. Okay, there you go. That's one. I foul hooked it right on the belly. Okay. So there she is. And there she goes. Back to the ocean. All right, let's get some more, man. I can't get enough of this. This is too much fun. Every cast. Big red tails, guys. Every cast. Doubles. I haven't got a triple yet. Give it time. Oh, we just had another hit. I'm not kidding. Right as my bait lands in the water. Oh, there's a hit. There's a fish. There we go. Just like that. Awesome, man. Wow. What a phenomenal morning. Oh, it came off. Did he come? No, he didn't. I feel the head shake. Little guy. Oh, there he is. There he goes. Oh, oh, there's a fish. There's a fish. There's another one, guys. Okay, you've probably seen enough. I'm just gonna make this my last fish. Good size for a last fish. Good. Oh, no, it's a little guy. Oh, I thought you were a big one. Okay. Well, let's let's get another one. Let's make the last fish a really big one. Okay. There we go. That's too small. Let's get a bigger one. Okay, here we go. Last cast. Last cast. Let's go. Let's get like a three pound red tail. Three would be really nice, man. That would be my personal best, for sure. Come on, dig it. Give me a last fish.
Oh, oh, there's a hit. There is a hit. There's a hit. Oh, oh, there it is. There we go. There we go. Now that's what I call the last fish right here, guys. That's what we're looking for. Much better. I can confidently say this is a nice last fish. Oh, yeah. Seeing that rod shake, man. Oh, did it come off? No, he didn't. Oh, there he is. Ah, it's not bad. Good size. Good size. Really nice hook set. Okay, buddy. All right, all right, all right, all right. Calm down. Gonna let you back. Good fish. Oops, there we go. There we go, she's gone. All right, maybe one more last cast. One more last cast. It's just too much fun out here, guys. Oh, there's a hit right away. Oh, man. Man, I reached down to wash my hands and already he took it. Wow. Not a very big one, I think. Just by the way he's fighting, he's uh, pretty small. Yeah, silver. Oh, the moly. Okay. I thought you were a big one. Okay, you, get out of here. <laughs> Too small. Okay, last cast. I swear. I swear this is the last cast. I want a big one. I want a big one to end my day. Well, to end my morning, actually. It's not even 7.30 yet. It's not even 7.30 yet. I'm already calling it quits. Come on, last fish. Last fish. Just like that, yeah! Woo! Just like that. There we go. Now this can be a last fish. Oh my goodness, holy cow. Holy cow. Oh. Oh. Wow. Heck yeah. This is more, I like it. Now this is worthy of a last fish. It's coming in. Double? Probably a double. Two medium double, I bet. Wow. Are you a double? Where are you? Oh, I see it. Yep, that's a double. It's a double. Double, double. There we go. Good size double. Wow. Whoa, look at that. They are just full of babies. Okay, so there's one. Number two is right here. Oh no, he didn't swim away yet. Okay, there we go. There it comes, there we go, whoops. Boy, that was an ugly release. Come here, buddy. Okay, there we go. She got it. They got it. They they went back. All right, so that was cool. Okay, guys, so that was my last fish. I had a great time fishing with uh, gulp sandworms. These guys right here, they work really well. They catch a lot of surf perch, as you can see. Um, it is coming in at 7.33. I've caught over a dozen fish. Um, we got on our water about 6 a.m. So yeah, try out these gulp sandworms. They're <clears throat> so yeah, try out these gulp sandworms. They work really well. I'll put a link in the video description of where to buy them. And yeah, that's about it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Have fun fishing. Tight lines.